Towards the Great Peace by Catherine Tingley, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This piece is an extract from The Wine of Life. The Wine of Life is a compilation of public addresses delivered by Catherine Tingley in the USA and Europe, mainly in 1923 and 1924, and it was published in 1925. Towards the Great Peace Rest within yourself. Do not depend upon another for your happiness. The moving away from the central source of one's inner life and from the duties near at hand has prevented spiritual growth in thousands and wrecked thousands of lives. It is by endeavouring to do the great things rather than the small that we fail to find and follow the law and to realise that our hearts are pulsating every moment in harmony with the finer forces of nature and the inexpressible vibrations of divine life. It is ignorance of these facts that causes so much unrest in the nature of man. One of the greatest obstacles on the upward path is extremism, where the brain-mind has fashioned the way and the method and worked out its comparisons and put forward its severe criticisms of life. There is always a danger in such cases of the dogmatic attitude and of finding oneself in a rut instead of swinging far out into the universal thought and moving forward along the broad road of spiritual effort. The strain that I know exists upon the body and mind of the extremist is terrible. Though no motive may be behind to do wrong or get away from the true, where there is that intense impulse to be doing something, to be getting a result without learning how, or bringing about some quick action contrary to one's better judgment, there at once the whole make-up begins to deteriorate, and in weeks, perhaps, or months, something may happen that will cause its complete undoing. This extremism becomes in time a mania, a kind of insanity, and the brightest minds are often caught in the reaction. Safety lies in keeping to the middle lines. Do not look for phenomenal occurrences, nor expect any startling manifestation through or for yourself. The divine laws do not work in that way, but in silence in the innermost part of our being. One must not take a yardstick to measure one's spiritual advancement. And remember, that if you drop a single note in a melody, the whole piece is spoiled. And so it is in our lives. The perfect harmony cannot exist if a false note is struck anywhere. A new life must come to humanity, else it will surely go down in darkness. We must be impatient in the knowledge that we have within ourselves divine potentialities, and that to serve is to do what our souls long to do so that all mankind may have glimpses of the blue of the future, and out beyond the shadows and horrors of the present, behold the morning star of a brighter day arisen. For we plough the way for the human race. We cannot move along this path by ourselves, nor advance towards the great peace. We may not rest in the joy of being blessed, for that is selfish, but our devotion must bless the whole world.